I love to look up um, verses on the internet and look at the neat pictures that people have put with them. Um, the verse that our author had um, mentioned and based his devotion off of was rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And I just loved the picture that went with that. I do a lot of um, jail ministry with women who are in in the county jail and sometimes in prison. But um, I like to make PowerPoints with scripture verses. And so I decided to make one on thankfulness to use with um, the next uh, inmate that I needed to help be thankful. Um, sometimes it's hard to be thankful in those situations. So I did. I, um, I put a few things with a few thoughts on some verses. And I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Psalms 9, 1 through 2. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. Am I thankful with my whole heart? And there was another one in here that had something to do with whole heart. We'll see in a minute. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. His love for us is not here today and gone tomorrow. It is steadfast and everlasting. And I started looking at these verses in the tense, whether they were past tense, present tense. And this one is past tense and present tense in one verse. I shall rejoice and I have trusted. Our God is eternal, isn't he? Okay. Um, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. I love this because as the author in our devotion was walking around the house counting God's blessings, he was tasting to see that the Lord is good. We take refuge when things are against us. Do we take our refuge in him? Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Present and continuous, receiving of a kingdom. We may not see it now, but we possess it. There's another verse that says, We are seated in the heavenlies with Christ right now. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart. I will glorify your name forever. God is not glorified with our half-hearted devotion. He wants my whole heart. And so very often, I don't give it. But I just wanted to challenge all of us, as the author of the devotion did, to be thankful. We have a God who is a consuming fire. Bye!